Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2016 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 13, which also came up in the Grade 7 8 and 9 10 contests. So the question is When you add the ages of a grandfather, a father, and a son, you get 100 years. If you add the father's age and the son's age, you get 45 years. And the son is 25 years younger than the father. Which statement is true? Okay, so what we want to find out is the grandfather's age, the father's age, and the son's age. And from the question, we are given three statements. Now, the easiest way to collect this information and write it down would be to introduce variables for their ages. So, we will make the grandfather's age the variable. We will introduce the variable g. For the father's age, we will introduce the variable f. And for the son's age, we will introduce the variable s. Okay, now let's look at the first statement. When you add the ages of a grandfather, a father, and a son, you get 100 years. Now, how that would look in an equation would be g, which is the grandfather's age, plus the father's age, plus the son's age is equal to 100. And that is the first equation. Okay, now the second statement. If you add the father's age and the son's age, you get 45 years. Well, that is just f plus s is equal to 45. And that is the second equation. Okay. And finally, the third statement. The son is 25 years younger than the father. Well, that is just F, which is the father's age, is equal to the son's age plus 25 years. And that is the third equation. Okay, now looking at the left sides of the first equation and the second equation, we can see that they are very alike, except for the first equation has an extra g on the left side. And for the right side of the first equation, there's 100, and the second equation, the right side, is 45. So that means if we find the difference of these two numbers, well, then we will already have g, which is the grandfather's age. Okay, so what we will do is take equation 1 and subtract it by equation 2. Okay. Well, f minus f is nothing, s minus s cancels out, so then we just have g on the left side. And then we have 100 minus 45. So g is equal to 100 minus 45, which is 55. So the grandfather is 55 years old. OK, so now we want to find the father's and the son's ages. Well, we already have the father's age in terms of the son's age. We already have f in terms of s. So what we can do for the second equation is just substitute that in. We will substitute in s plus 25 for f so that we only have s on one side and that will be equal to a number, which will allow us to find the son's age. So we will put equation 3 into equation 2. So instead of f, we will write s plus 25 plus the s is equal to 45. OK, well, s plus s is 2s. And 45 minus the 25, because we're bringing it on the right side, that would equal to 20. Well, dividing both sides by 2 to just get s, we have s is equal to 10. Okay, 
So we know that the son's age is 10. Well, now we all, the only thing we have to do is find the father's age, and we will just do that by having 10 plus 25 is equal to 35. So f is equal to 35. Okay, now we know the ages of the son, the father, and the grandfather. So now let's look at the, the options. Option A, the grandfather is 50 years old. Well, that's not true. We know that the grandfather is actually 55. Option B, the son is 15 years old. Well, that's also false. We know that the son is 10 years old. C, the grandfather is 45 years older than his grandson. Well, the, gr the grandfather is 55, so 55 minus 10 is 45. Okay, so we know that option C, this statement, is true. Now, option D, the father is 30 years younger than the grandfather. No, he is only 20 years younger than the grandfather, because 55 minus 35. Okay, so option E, the sum of the grandfather's and the grandson's ages is 50. No, 10 plus 55 is 65, so that statement is false. Now, option F, the age of the father is divisible by 15. No, because the father is 35, and 15 does not go into that without a decimal. And now, option G, the grandfather's age is even. Well, we know that statement is also false because it's 55, so it's odd. So the correct option is option C. The grandfather is 45 years older than his grandson. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at careroutest.com.